Hi, my name is Charlotte Voisey and I'm going to make you a champagne cocktail. Now champagne in mixed drinks is nothing new. It easily dates back to the 1800s. You've probably heard of the French 75, a famous champagne cocktail with gin or cognac, depending on which story you believe. And probably everyone's enjoyed a Bellini around brunch time. The Bellini, incidentally, comes to us from Venice around about 1948. Uh, regardless, there's a lot of inspiration out there, so with all of that, you can pick on any wonderful ingredients and make your own style of champagne cocktail. I'm going to make you a summer-inspired champagne cocktail. My first ingredient is going to be fresh blackberries. We'll use about five or six of these, depending on how large they are. And then I'm going to add another light, crisp summer flavor, which is elderflower liqueur. So we're going to go with about an ounce and a half of Saint Germain. And once I have them both in the glass, we're just going to muddle them. Just pressing down, twisting around to get the color, the flavor, and all that yummy goodness from the blackberries. Now to keep the cocktail fresh and light and bright, we're going to add in some fresh mint. Six, seven, eight loose leaves here. Uh, there's no need to muddle because we don't want to get to the bitter side of the mint. We just want to keep it nice and fresh. So just drop those in your shaker and you know, ice this up and get ready to shake. So cocktail of two parts. First we have to prepare these ingredients. And as always, we're going to give it a nice hard shake. So this half goes straight into our champagne flute and you can see now it's kind of resembling that Bellini style in that we have the fresh fruit at the bottom and the second half, most importantly, is the champagne itself. Now a couple of things here, you want to hold it as you're comfortable. Champagne bottles when full can be quite heavy. So at the bottom, either like so, or if you're strong enough, you can put your thumb into the punt of the bottle back here. But it's always a nice touch to have the label facing your guest. Now you want to take your bar spoon, make sure it's one with nice tight spirals. And we can pop that into the glass and we're actually going to pour the champagne down the spoon. The reason being is it helps to control the froth. You see that it still bubbles up quite nicely because champagne will react to uh, fresh fruit. But the spoon just gives it a nice, elegant speed to do that. Give it a nice little stir, make sure that fresh fruit is fully integrated. And there you have my Bond Street Sparkler cocktail I placed on the W Downtown Hotel in New York. A beautiful, fresh summer champagne cocktail, light in alcohol, delicious. Cheers.